All right, guys, we're going to get to supply now. So once we have conquered demand, we move on to supply. So supply, the trickiest thing for some people is that to remember that we're looking at it from the standpoint of somebody who is producing, somebody who is selling something. Um, because we notice here we have an upward sloping supply curve, positively sloping, and that goes along with the law of supply. The law of supply says that when the price of a good or service increases, the quantity supplied also increases. So why would this be? So what this is telling us is that suppliers, sellers like high prices. And when we think about it, that probably makes sense. So let's imagine that um, right now you're sitting here watching this video wearing a pair of shoes. Um, and if I were to offer you a certain amount of money for you to sell me those shoes, if I offered you, let's say I start with 50 cents, and I say, all right, give me 50 cents for those shoes. How many of you are likely to actually say yes to that and sell me your shoes for 50 cents? Well, probably not very likely, right? On the other hand, if I come in and say, hey, give me 10,000, or I'll give you $10,000 right now if you give me those shoes. Well, most of you are probably going to immediately take your shoes off and probably throw them at me because you want that money so badly, right? So what's happening is that you are willing to supply your shoes at a high price, $10,000, but you're not willing to supply your shoes at a low price of 50 cents. And that's the basic idea. Companies, people are in it trying to make money. So when they're selling a good or service, they are definitely willing to supply more at a higher price than at a lower price. Now, from experience, let me throw the word of caution in here. Don't worry about whether people will buy it. Don't worry about whether it's realistic that anyone will actually buy your shoes for $10,000. That does not matter right now for this curve. All we care about is what suppliers are willing to do. It does not matter if people are actually willing to pay that price or not. It does not matter. The idea is that at a low price, we will sell less of a good or service. At a high price, we will sell more of that good or service. That's the law of supply. So, moving from A to B, like we did before, we're dealing here with a change in the quantity supplied, or again a change in, or I'm sorry, a movement along the supply curve. Two ways to express that. We can have an upward movement. In this case, an upward movement, just like an upward movement on the demand curve, is showing a price increase. However, the main difference is this time the price increase leads to a, an increase in the quantity supplied. So point A, the price is only $2, and we were willing to supply 10 of this particular good. At point B, the price doubles, goes to $4, so guess what? We are now willing to supply 20 of this particular good or service. Um, and then we can have a downward movement, which would be the opposite, where the price decreases and so does the quantity supplied. So what we are seeing is that there is a direct or positive relationship between uh, price and quantity supplied. Um, and that's pretty much it. Remember when we're talking about movements along the curve or change in quantity supplied, the only thing that causes that is a change in the price of that good or service. Alright? This has been a Lamoney production.